Hello, everybody. Welcome to Silly Sports Talk. I'm Timmy. I'm Noida himself. And I'm Skippy. Before we get into today's episode, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because that helps us, us bring you our latest, take the latest sports news. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. So, if, if, if you noticed, it's only me today. Apparently, Timmy's helping someone move. Brendan's, Brendan's, uh, bl- uh, he's getting his beauty sleep, I can only assume. And it's also Wednesday, because Tuesday, um, we had, we had a, we had a mass. We were going to do it at 9, 9 a.m., right? We had a mass, because a holy day of obligation. So Timmy shows up at, uh, like 8.30 going, hey, fellas, I can't make it today. Postpone till tomorrow. And so we agreed we would do it at 8 a.m. today. But that I don't know what happened there, but we're we're flying solo today, baby. And so you know what that means? We don't have to do NASCAR. Woo-hoo-hoo. For the two people that are happy about that, thank you. All right, well, no time to waste here. Let's jump into the series. So, NFL preseasons have began. As we can see, we the Steelers played the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, kicked their butts. 27-17 win. Um, we had most of our QBs swapping out, mainly Rudolph and Pickett. They they both threw 132 and 70, respectively. It, it was a good game. Didn't watch most of it. I watched the highlights, though, so that counts for something. Let's see what the, the commanders are up to. The, the good old commies. What, what are they doing this week? All right, the Washington Commanders in the NFL preseason. They were playing the Cleveland Browns. They they won 17-15, barely squeaked their way by. Uh they mostly had Sam Howell and Jacob Brissett. I think that's how I pronounce that. Sam Howell, nine for twelve, catch attempts, seventy seven yards. Jacob, six and ten, catch attempts, seventy five yards, and Jacob from five out of seven catch attempts, twenty six yards. Not too not too shabby. Uh, they will be playing, man, uh, they'll be playing the Ravens next. I hope they win. Cause, cause, cause it's the Ravens. Oh, and, uh, Steelers are playing the Bills. I'm slightly scared. But after that, we're playing the Falcons, so not too worried about that one after. Oh, yeah, big T's were out in Ace Carmen. All right, so, uh, Timmy just said to, uh, his his guy won. His guy came in second, whatever that means. I think his guy is Chase Elliott. So, do do with that information what you will. All right, let's go into a bit of baseball here. We got the Fred Nats. The old Fred Nats had a pretty rough week. They went over to Lynchburg and lost four of the six games. They set at a forty nine and fifty five record. They also threw in the league. So if they do just okay, if they do okay, they don't do really bad. It should be the playoffs. Should be. They just have to keep being okay. The Nats, the Washington Nationals, not a, a hot start as they lose three of the four to the Phillies, but then they flipped around and slept and swept the Athletics. Not a hard thing to do, but anything helps. Playoffs are pretty much out of the question, though, as they are still fifth in the league with a rough 53 and 66 record. No good. No good. Yeah, let's go see what the Orioles. The dirty doesn't Timmy call it like the dirty birds or something? I don't know if that's their nickname, but Oh, let's pull let's pull up your schedule. Alright. So we have the dirty birds. Them 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 them, them real dirty birds. They played the uh all right, so they play. It looks like they play the Astros to start off the week. They lost two out of the three games, and they went over to the Mariners. And well, well, it looks like they uh they they won two and lost one game to them. So pretty much a nothing burger of a week. And then they also uh, they're playing the Padres right now, as we are pretty much into the week. I'll just cover those games. All right, so they won versus the Padres. They lost their second game to the Padres. And they're also playing Wednesday night, 840p EDT. I don't know why it shows an EDT. What's EDT? Eastern Destination Time? 
Eastern Doom time, maybe? I don't know. Pirates, the Pittsburgh Pirates, baby. All right, the Pirates had another really midweek as they went 2-2 two two versus the Braves and 1-2 versus the Reds. It's really not looking too great as they have a 53-65 record. I'm not, not expecting much from them. Probably not going to even even touch the playoffs. Not even in touching distance. For better or for worse. So, there's that. Uh... Now we can go potato of the week. What kind of what kind of speed running today? Giving you all the sports news quickly. Potato of the week. Astros had a horribly, horribly embarrassing play. I believe this was uh last night on Tuesday. The Astros. Uh, I forgot who they were playing, but whatever team they were playing, they got a got a small hit. So the the base runner running running gracefully to first. Should have been a really damn easy out. But instead, instead, second base, tossed it to first. Should have been easy. Should have been easy. But it was a very, very wild pitch. Went right over his head. Way into the dugout. So, sec- so first. So the runner keeps going to second. Keeps going to third. By the time first base has it, tosses it all the way to third. Again, horribly, horribly over his head. Right down the first bit, third baseline, the runner gets an easy, easy W. Extra run, pretty sure they uh they ended up winning that game due to that mis miscalculation. But yeah, Astros, uh, it, it was unfortunate. It was unfortunate. Jeff joke of the week. So I was up at our cabin as I do every couple months, and there's a mini golf course there that we that we occasionally go to, right? And you know, I'm a I'm a competitive guy, I'd say. Been t- I, I talk about I talk a bit of smack, just just a healthy amount, just a healthy dose. And so we were playing against me, my dad, my sister, and her boyfriend. Now, I mean, clearly I wanna I wanna be on the top of this food chain. I already know I'm gonna lose to dad, but it, it, that was that's inevitable. And so he was keeping the score, right? And so I I was pretty much ahead most of the time by one or two. But towards the very end, I, I hit a five, which is no good. It's no good at all. And so my dad told me I was negative one. So Aaron had one more than me. So I had to score two. I I, I basically, I, she was winning. Okay. And it went down to the final hole, right? She shot a five. Well, actually, she shot. She would have shot like a free, but there was a rock in the way that her ball hit. So I moved it, and she called a recount. And so when she hit again, it was so much worse than her first hit. And so she hit a five. So all I need to do was shoot a free, and I did. And so I said I won. Yippee, woohoo! Jazz hands, all that, all that, all that stuff. And then my dad goes, hmm, "Wait, I need to recount this real quick." He recounts it. Apparently, I had not only lost, after my celebration and everything, it was a very humble celebration, I not only lost to Aaron, my dad, I lost to her boyfriend! It was unbelievable. You know, and I fully blame it on dad. Fully blame it. If he didn't, if he didn't go, oh, I need to recount this, this wouldn't have happened. My my, my honor, my grace, everything, everything inside me was, was destroyed that day. I know he's watching this, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm still upset. My pride still hurt. But, 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 I, I wish Timmy was here to hear this. But, um, if you've been following for any amount of time, you would have known. I've had a a, a hole in one doubt drought. I've I've played maybe 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 fifteen mini golf courses without getting a hole in one in the past like five years. But today, I I told I told my dad I said. Dad, this is the day. This is the day that it all happens, and and I was right. We hit a home. We hit no, not home one. Maybe we'll hold a home one. We hit a hole in one, baby, for the first time in five years, and it felt good. It felt very, very good. So I was very happy, happy, happy to announce that the hole in one drought is no more. Maybe we'll start another one though. But yeah, my my sister didn't get a hole in one, so ha. Get 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 wrecked. Alright, now we have silly goose of the week. Another fun baseball facts. 
So, four pitchers from the same high school all made it into the MLB and have all thrown a no-hitter. Now, they were all from, like, very, very different decades. But I just thought that was kind of cool. All, all coming from the same place. All doing the same thing. So, there you go. All right, let's round it out here with, uh, with, uh, with the country music charts. Let me, let me pull her up here. August 12th. All right, starting back at the bottom. Warren Zenders with a new uh, coming over at top 40. Pretty Little Poison. Never heard it. Probably never will. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Chris Stapleton dropping all the way from... Wait, no. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Dropping all the way from 36th. White Horse. Wait, no. Dropping all the way from 21st to 36th. White Horse, that's, that's kind of sad. Morgan Wallen at number 44, thinking about me. Different round here, Riley Green with Luke Combs at 32. Dan Shea saved me the trouble at 27. I don't really like that song too much, can't lie. Not too much movement. At number 20, we have Tried That in a Small Town by Jason Aldean. Mostly songs drop in here. So we have... Towards the top, it's pretty much the same. Angel Stone off Wings at number 10. Thomas Rhett. Old and Strong. Luke Holmes, Love You Anyway at number 6. Jordan Davis, Next Thing You Know at number 5. Last Night, Morgan Wallen sitting there at number 4. You, Me, and Whiskey. John Moore singing at number 3. Ah, oh. oh, no. Luke Holmes, Fast Car at number 2. And you want to know what's at number 1? Need a favor. Again, me, me and Timmy talked about this last week. I, the song's fine. I don't really know what to think of the lyrics, whether it's sacrilegious or not, so I'm not going to state my opinion too much on that one, but it is at number one, Jelly Wool. I don't know what, I, I, I don't know why it's there. I'd rather Fast Car, but, you know, you know, it is it is what it is, to be honest. And I'm pretty sure that's... That's just, that's pretty much it for this speedrun episode. I mean, I don't really have anything else to cover other than more sports next week, baby. Playoffs, playoffs coming soon for the MLB, two free weeks, so watch out for that. Uh, I'd say that's, that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening to this very, 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 very condensed version of Silly Sports Talk. I'm your host, Skippy, and, and we'll see you all in the next one. Keep on onking.